I mean, I'm not really sure what I've done to you, but I'll take a Pinot Grigio. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 craziest Vanderpump Rules moments. It ain't about the pasta! I, got I did nothing wrong! Serious, right? you, you did, did nothing not wrong! You did nothing wrong! You never do anything you wrong with them! nothing! Yeah, it was about the pasta, partly. For this list, we'll be looking at some of the most dramatic and memorable things that have happened on the Hit Bravo reality series. What are some of your favorite Pump Rules moments? Be sure to post in the comments and let us know. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. So much time. I'm so so I'm being here with all these people. Number 10, book signing drama. Ending my book tour with my friend at TomTom Tom, is so special to me. When Stassi wants to host an event for her book, Next Level Basic, TomTom Tom seems like the perfect location. Except it's never that easy with this group. Um, I just woke up to a text from Tom Sandoval that he sent at 2 o'clock in the morning. She handles most of the details with Schwartz, which Sandoval can't stand. He thinks his business partner and best friend can't handle it. So when staffing issues arise, he sends her a bunch of rage texts. Do not put this on me or us because I will literally kick you the f out of TomTom Tom and all your wristbands. Essentially, he accuses her of not giving him enough advance notice. It all comes to a head at the event where she accuses him of being jealous of her success in front of a bunch of unassuming guests. You know what? You're just sad that this isn't about you. Tom is so mad that he storms out. It's pure chaos, so it's safe to say that everyone there definitely got their money's worth. Number 9. James Body Shames Katie Pride is always a big production at Sir. Unfortunately, this time the event made waves for all the wrong reasons. Kristen insists that James slept with her friend Hope, and drama ensues. I'm just curious if you are aware or if you just don't care. A not-so-sober James goes into a frenzy, during which he attacks Katie. But she shouldn't be wearing those shorts, they're not very flattering. He tells her she's too fat for her outfit and to lose weight. Lose some weight. Everyone can agree he's way out of line, and it's not the first time. A few years prior, Lala insulted everyone, saying they hadn't been working on their summer bodies. James piled on, asking Katie if she was pregnant. Wait, are you pregnant? At this point, Katie has had enough, so she gives Lisa an ultimatum. Fire James or she quits. I am not willing to work in a place that is tolerated. So basically, it's an ultimatum. And thus marks the end of DJ James Kennedy's employment. Listen, I have no. to stand. I have to stand in defense of the women that you've insulted. No way you're yes. taking this away from me. Number eight, the pastor. This pastor has made so many negative comments. He was slamming same-sex marriage, transgender people, and saying no child should choose his gender. Nobody chooses their gender. It's almost time for Jax and Britney's wedding, but not before they deal with a little scandal surrounding their pastor, Ryan Dotson. His social media posts, widely labeled as homophobic and transphobic on the show, are spreading. Since he's Britney's family friend, they believed he didn't mean what he wrote, at first. I did see one comment back in the day, but he like promised me that he was not homophobic. When Lisa confronts them, they promise they're replacing him. However, Sandoval and Ariana can't help but wonder why they ignored the situation for so long. Sandoval confronts Jax and a blow-up of epic proportions follows. I'm wondering like why it took Lisa coming to you guys about no, this. No, no, no. I'm not talking about this. Done. Even Britney flips out. Jax actually throws Sandoval out of the wedding party for a while. If that's the kind of friends you want, ones that never question you, agree with you at all times, then that's what you can have, Jax. Luckily, in the end, everything works out. Lance Bass takes over officiating duties and the wedding bells toll. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Jason. <laughs> Number seven, I'll take a Pinot Grigio. Hello. Would you like something to drink? Well... You probably would. Stassi Schroeder versus Sheena Shea is a rivalry that spans many seasons, with countless ups and downs. Welcome back to LA, I wish you the best. One of their most memorable showdowns comes when Stassi is having lunch at Sir with Lisa Vanderpump. Sheena is their waitress but refuses to take Stassi's drink order, much to LVP's dismay. Stassi doesn't let this phase her though. She quips, I mean, I'm not really sure what I've done to you, but I'll take a Pinot Grigio. It's not so much what she says, but the confidence and attitude with which she says it. Sheena is left wide-eyed and completely speechless. 
and we can never look at Pinot Grigio the same way again. This was the last of the bottle, so they're gonna have to chill okay. more. Number six, you're not important enough. After insulting everything and everyone on the show and quitting, Stasi returns with her tail between her legs. Hi, Lisa. I know I'm the last person that you want to see. It turns out an ex-boyfriend spread a private videotape of her, which caused a lot of tension viewers didn't understand in the previous season. The whole sex tape thing, like, shook my world. And LVP is the one who paid him off. Now Stasi wants to make amends. Lisa is not receptive to hearing her apology. She feels insulted by comments Schroeder made putting her down after leaving the show. Stasi loses hope and gets up saying Lisa just hates her. But Vanderpump is a no-nonsense type of woman. She immediately shuts Schroeder down with this line. You hate yeah. me, Lisa. You hate You know me. what, you're not important enough to hate, sit down. It was such a memorable quote that it's gone on to be printed on many mugs and t-shirts. Lisa is really digging in and is making me feel bad about pretty much every decision I've ever made in my life. Number five, James and Lala fight about Raquel's food. James and Lala get into an argument after she eats Raquel's pasta. I told you I had a bite of her pasta and then the whole thing was devoured oh and that's God, what you why go is off it about on. the damn pasta? Get over the damn pasta! James thinks Lala doesn't respect his girlfriend, so he goes on to make rude comments about her relationship. He refers to her boyfriend as the fat man and says they're only together because he's rich. Are you really saying that you because kidding? I told you I ate her, her honey, pasta? Honey. It was uncalled for but not surprising. He's no stranger to rude behavior, once spitting on Kristen's door. You did not just spit on my door. But this turns into a screaming match between him and Lala. She says she was joking about Raquel's pasta. James then repeatedly yells that it's not about the pasta. It was so heated that fans had a theory that pasta was code for drugs. The cast denied this. We sometimes still wonder if it was about the pasta, though. Yeah, it was about the pasta, partly. Number four, Jax dumps Laura Lee. I don't know if it was the right time to bring up my feelings, but now is a good time as any. When Stassi and Jax break up, he's on the hunt for a rebound. He finds it in coworker and aspiring actress Laura Lee. They're even caught being intimate in the restaurant's bathroom. She confides in him about her struggles with addiction and takes him to an Alcoholics Anonymous meeting with her. Instead of being supportive, Jax freaks out. Spending every single day together, I think it might be a little bit much in the beginning. He then dumps her after the meeting in what has to be one of the most insensitive breakups ever. It doesn't quite stick, so he decides to ghost her. You have been with me every day, from the time I woke up to the time I went to bed, and then all of a sudden you just stop texting, stop calling me, and expect me not to want an explanation. She confronts him and tells everyone that they had unprotected sex. Laura Lee actually went on to land a supporting role in the Jennifer Aniston movie, We're the Millers. I'm Kimberly, with a Y. So all's well that ends well, we guess. And then when I'm walking on the red carpet and I've got my own TV show, you're gonna look at me and you're gonna say I should have been nice to her. Number three, Vegas fight. Jax told me not to tell anybody, including my girlfriend, that he's coming to Vegas because he wants to surprise Stassi. Vanderpump Rules has certain unbreakable traditions. One of those is Stassi's birthday being a drama-filled event. Its origin dates all the way back to the first season, where they head to Vegas to celebrate. Happy birthday, Stassi. Totally cordial. Jax is not invited, but that doesn't stop him from crashing. You were disinvited by me. Sorry you showed up. Do not disrespect Frank. Quickly, the verbal argument between Jax and Stassi's boyfriend Frank evolves into a physical one. Insults are hurled, drinks are thrown, and a fight breaks out in the parking lot. And for some reason, they need to be shirtless to fight. This really set the tone for all future Pump Rules birthdays and vacations, and we're not complaining. Number two, Jax admits to cheating on Stassi. Jax Taylor is known for many things, but being faithful is not one of them. A lot of the first season revolves around whether he cheated on Stassi with a woman in Las Vegas and possibly got her pregnant. In true Jax fashion, he denies the whole thing. Still naive, almost everybody except Stassi believes him. Months later, he comes clean and admits it's true. A month before everything happened, I did go to Vegas and have relations with somebody else. To nobody's surprise, that wasn't the last time Jax cheated. If he's gonna do it with Faith, someone that I know, who else has he done it with? Years later, while in a committed relationship with Britney, he hooks up with their coworker Faith while she was caring for an old woman in the next room. I'm doing a live-in care for a 95-year-old lady. That's what's gonna happen. Right. And he comes over, and Faith, I've been wanting you for a very long time. He initially denies it, though not for long. I would tell you if I did it two, three, four, five times, what's, what's the difference? 
to me one time and ten times. It doesn't make a difference. This changes no, everything, you piece of Lucky for him, Britney eventually forgave him and they're now happily married. Hopefully, he's learned his lesson. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Jax gets arrested for stealing sunglasses. Jax is my boy, and I'll do anything for him. Hey, this is Tom Schwartz. I'm, I'm trying to help out my buddy, Jax Taylor. But like, ugh, did you have to do it, Jax? Come on, man. Kristen curses Diana out and gets fired from Sir. I've had enough of your bullshit. As far as I'm concerned, you're not here, you're not here socially, and you're fired from Sir Restaurant, and it's done. Tom Schwartz gives Katie a ring on a string instead of proposing. You hate it? Putting a ring on a string. But don't think string, too much about it. Putting around the next hand. It's not a string, it's a gold I'm committed to you. It's not really what a girl pushing 30 wants to hear. Stassi tells Sheena to hobble away with her crutches. I'm not gonna feel bad for you. Walk away. I'm not. No, hobble okay, away. Then I will. Thanks. Stassi tells Jax she's the devil. It really? was. Really? Because I'm gonna get in the bed with the devil. Like, no, <gasps> I'm not. Easy. <laughs> I am the devil. And don't you forget it. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Stassi slaps Kristen. Did you kiss her? Did she kiss no, you? No, there's no kissing. What's worse than your boyfriend cheating on you with a random woman? Not much, except maybe him and your best friend sneaking around behind your back. As rumors swirl about Jax and Kristen having hooked up, tensions rise. Once Jax confesses, things really escalate. Hey, you think that Jax is making Jax. this up? Why on earth would I make this up? Kristen adamantly denies the whole thing. While Tom initially trusts his then-girlfriend, Stassi doesn't. It culminates with the girls getting into a major fight. Stassi slaps Kristen across the face so hard that it has since lovingly become known as the West Hollywood slap heard round the world. You are disgusting. Of course, a few episodes later, Kristen admits that she did in fact sleep with Jax. On the bright side, Stassi got her anger out and Kristen got a chapter for her book. Yes, I did have sex with him one time. And I'm really sorry. So you had sex with Jax? Yes. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here.